Amia Mining Days has been a popular celebration in Cottage Grove since the 50s, but financial challenges and a lack of volunteers have put the event on hold until next year. And as KEZI 9 news reporter Noah Chavez shows us, residents and vendors are hopeful that they'll be able to keep that tradition alive. This did by far the best that it's ever done at any other event, so it's a great turnout. Uh, I think they didn't, they didn't have the carnivals last year, which was a big bummer. News of the cancellation of the 2024 Bohemia Mining Days event has begun to spread to vendors and residents of Cottage Grove. I feel kind of sad about it, and the reason being is that my kids grew up. Every year we'd go to the carnival, every year we'd go. Yeah, we definitely keep our eyes out for other opportunities, um, but the turnout isn't, isn't anything like it was at Bohemian Mining Days. Former festival coordinator Scott Borgioli says he's in favor of the one-year break, adding that the festival had continued to gain in expenses and staffing challenges that would make this year a bigger challenge. Uh, volunteerism has uh, dwindled. It takes a lot of people to uh, behind the scenes to put on uh, the festival. Monetary donations have uh, significantly dwindled, uh, in part because of uh, budgetary constraints post-COVID and uh, businesses and uh, donors cutting back. Now the community of Cottage Grove can only wait and see if their beloved tradition will return in 2025. While some are not too optimistic, others believe it will. I'm, I'm very hopeful that it does come back because it has to do with our community involvement. It has to do with the people, has to do with um, hope for the future. A good decision was made to take the year off and kind of rebuild the board and, and uh, reorganize. COVID really took a big hit. Other residents believe that organizers could instead have a smaller event or parade for the year to ensure the tradition doesn't stop. But for now, there is going to be an uncertainty about summer events in Cottage Grove. Because I think it's going to leave a big hole in Cottage Grove for not having it because it represents our history and all our growth and our coming together, the connectedness. So um, I'm excited for it to come back. Reporting in Cottage Grove, Noah Chavez, KZI 9 News.